Before we uh, start the test failover, what I wanted to just look at again, just from a refresher, is where we're at now. So now we have our active, passive, normal uh, traffic deployed and going. All right, you know, we're making requests through our web browser. We're hitting the traffic manager endpoint. It's routing that traffic to East US. That's our priority. Uh, it's going and hitting the failover group listener, and then that failover group listener is routing the traffic to the primary database. What we want to do next is test what would happen if we had an issue in our primary web app. So we're going to stop our primary web app so that tra and we can no longer hit that endpoint and then see if our traffic manager will fail over that traffic. We're back in our browser and once again, we'll go to our traffic manager endpoint. We'll hit it to make sure we're hitting uh, the, the East US app and we'll even um, Go here to TM and we'll go to the home page so we can see our records are still there. So I'm going to go into the East web app and we're going to just hit stop. Wait for it to say stop here. Our web app has stopped. So we no longer can access our website. So if we try to go to it directly, you'll see there's a 403, the web app has stopped. We're going to go back out and navigate to traffic manager. And you'll see that it automatically reads it as stopped. So uh, that's one of the benefits of this being in Azure, it knows it's stopped. So we're gonna go back here and try to navigate to it and it's stopped. We're not getting any traffic, okay? So we'll give it a second. In fact, I'm actually gonna take this because that might be just caching that page. I'm gonna open an in-private browser and navigate there. All right. so. There was some caching going on there. Uh, we hadn't um, released that cache. So now we'll see it's routing to the West. So if I open or go to the health page, it's still uh, talking to the West, but it's talking to the failover group listener. So everything's working great. We're now able to still access our website. Uh, it's routing that traffic to the West US. I can still add or delete records if I was to delete this record here and go into my database. Let's go back to our database in East. You see it's saying it's stopped there. I'm gonna go back to CoreDB that's in the East. We're gonna look at the query editor again, grab that. And we'll run that simple query here. Select star from to do. We'll see that that record is now missing. Okay, so next we're gonna uh, turn the East US back on and we're just gonna fail over the database. So we just tested with uh, a outage of just the app service and failed over to the secondary region with uh, the failover group still pointing to the primary. What we're going to do next is actually fail over the database. So we've restored uh, our web app in East US, but we're now going to force a failover of the database to the secondary region, which is West US, and uh, promote that to primary. And then we will continue to try to make our transactions. Now, in this case, we're not actually deleting or shutting down the secondary database, so it'll still be available to receive transactions, but it, we're just going to test what it's like when we fail over a database that we are now writing those transactions to the secondary region. Okay, so let's get going. All right, so here you can see we are in the failover group. Actually, I'll walk you through getting there. So we're gonna go into our uh, server on the east, click on failover groups, go into the failover group here, and you see that uh, we still have this as the primary and this as the secondary. So we're gonna do a failover, click that, and this will take a second. So we'll let that proceed and then we'll come back. Okay, we've failed over the database here. Let's go back into the server and into the failover group. And you can see now that the West database has been promoted to the primary and the secondary is still in, uh, or the East database, excuse me, is now uh, secondary. So what we're gonna do is go back to our web app. We'll do TM here and we can go to health and we'll see that the database connection is still pointing to the failover group, right? So our web app's up and running, we're back to East US, but the connection is pointing to the failover group. So we're gonna do a similar thing as we did before. We'll go to index here. And now we will look at East US and, uh, and the West US database. 
so here on this side we actually have the west us database and on this side we are going to go to the east us database and as quickly as we can we're going to try a similar exercise where we submit a transaction and um, see how it hits our servers it's really hard to do because it happens so fast uh, but we'll do our best so we're going to do select and I've copied and pasted this by now from to do run that transaction. I will actually move this up a little bit so that you all can see it. And we'll go back to this to do and we're going to go ahead and create a new record. And we're going to say, let's create one. This is buy groceries. Put it over here come back run run that one's there and it's there now so uh it's still replicating across but you see our databases are up and running we've failed over we could go in uh, you know to the failover group and make disconnect that connection uh if we wanted to but not necessary for the for this exercise um you can see here that the replication relationship is really still there and it's amazing how fast it is uh in the azure backplane to replicate those transactions uh so next what we're going to do is we're going to do a full failover we have the back end failed over here we're going to just go ahead and fail over our front end once again and demonstrate that everything still works Our last scenario in this architecture is a full regional outage where we're not able to communicate with either our app service or our database in the primary region. We've basically done this already, but in pieces and parts, not really much to do here. I'll kind of walk through it in the portal of what's left, but uh, based for, you know, we initially failed over the, the web app, then we turned that back on, then we failed over the database. We haven't un, uh, reversed that, so that's still there. So really what I'll do in the portal is just uh, turn that web app off and you know and that will allow traffic manager to fail over to the west region navigating back into the portal you'll see our east us is up our west us is up if we go to our app it's going to navigate us to our primary region so we'll go ahead to east again and stop that uh, web web app if we go back out to traffic manager here we'll see that it's showing us stopped uh, we may have to open an incognito window yeah, we're not getting anything here. So we'll go to incognito here and try that again. Okay, so we've routed to West US 2. If we go to the health, we're, we're still pointing to that failover group listener. And so we know that is routing our traffic and we still have our um, data coming in. We can still adjust uh, our records. We can go and delete our records. And if we were to go back into our both our databases, we would see here, uh, go into this dashboard, we go into uh, CoreDB on East. Now, actually we'll go into West first. We'll see that that record has disappeared. Okay, and if I was to go into East, we would see the same thing, right? We, we haven't severed the tie to the database. That secondary database isn't actually down. There's no real way to shut it down. And so we would see that record show up in that database because the replication relationship is still active. But just take my word, uh, you know, if we go into the, the server, you'll see that um, it, it shows. Let's uh, go to the server. and go into the failover group, we'll see that relationship is the West as a primary. It's receiving those transactions and then it's replicating them over. I hope you enjoyed that look and how to build resilient web applications, leveraging Azure App Service, Azure SQL DB, and Traffic Manager. If you're looking to do something similar with a NoSQL database, I recommend trying out Cosmos DB, which has similar geo-replication geo functionality, but with the added benefit of also being able to do a multi-region write. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I'd appreciate a like, a subscribe, and a share with your friends. Okay, thanks, bye.